Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the view child property or view child directive. How we can change the styles of a div element or a DOM element through the Angular code. So let's try to see in this one the different ways and also I will try to tell you the best way also. For example, let's say that we are having this other component at HTML, right? I can remove this one and I am adding this one as Leela Web Dev. Okay, so this is the line which we are having. If you try to see here, this is the Leela web door. And now what I want to do is I want to change the color of this text. How can I change this color of this text? Normally what I can do, I can apply the style background color. Okay, style background color like this I can change it. This is one way, but I want to change it through the angular code. So how we can change this one? For example, let's say that I will click on this button button mm, change color I will have like this and when I try to use the click event for this one change color we will be having this change color now if you try to take this one change color and let's go to the ts part other dot component dot ts file yeah here I will be using change color and here we need to change it now for changing this one what we can do is we can add a reference to this one here so here I can say other ref or something like this now i can send this one into this one also it's not a, it's not at all wrong so you can send it like this i will try to show you the view chain also you can also access it through the view chain or otherwise we can send it like this now child change color if you try to see here now here you will be getting the element it is of type html div element which we are able to see right it's a div element right so html div element now if you try to see the console console dot log element if I try to show you that console dot log of element and if you see the output for this one and if I click on this see here we are able to get that particular element now what can I do I want to change the color of this one right so what can I do is element we got the element dot style dot display is equal to yellow so whichever you want to change it you can change it yellow now if you try to see the output where is the output we are able to see yeah if i click here if i click here no it's not oh sorry it's not display right you need to change it to color i want to change it to color color is equal to yellow now if you try to see here the output if i click on this one it has changed it to yellow color if i click on this one it has changed it to yellow color so now we are able to change it but the process what we are trying to do here we are trying to use the native javascript style dot color style dot display or otherwise append child these all the things are uh, what i can say is native javascript if you try to use the native javascript in the angular right now this angular everything is tightly tightly bind with the angular code right if you try to use the native javascript that means you are trying to change the dom you are trying to change the dom means so sometimes the angular will not work properly so now the uh, angular will ship us with a uh, uh, with ship us with a special type of thing that is called as a renderer so if you want to use this one you need to use the renderer renderer library for modification of the dom through the ts code so for example let's say that you are able to get this change here color right you can also get it through the view chain so here i can use it at the rate view chain okay so we will be calling this one view chain and here this is the what i can say other element right other ref other ref we are able to get this other ref let's import this view chain uh, view chain uh, here let's try to have view chain okay and here i need to use something like a thread view chain uh, we can give other element and this could be of type element ref so always you will be getting it as an sorry element ref this also should be imported element ref so from where it should be imported let's import it so element ref what could be the issue here element ref of so this one is an html div element so fine we are able to get it now what i want to do is so here let's try to access in the ng on it that is the component life cycle so ng on init 
I will try to access this ng or in it console dot log this dot other element. So whether we are able to access it or not, let's try to see it. So here we are getting some errors. Let's try to see element ref. Element ref it should be. I uh, should it should it should be downloaded. So I don't know why it is not coming. This itself is not saving. So element ref. Okay, we have downloaded. Now if you try to see the output. Oh, again we are getting. Okay, fine. Let's try to have it like this. So now if you try to see view child is not what I can say cannot find view child did you mean view child okay 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 this is our wrong only that is the reason we are not able to get it yeah view child we are able to get it now let's see whether we are able to compile it or not still it are not able to change color okay the change color we are getting it like this so let's try to remove this one for the time being I am trying to show something right let's try to remove this one yeah now if you see the output for this one let's refresh this page now on ng on in it eh, why it's coming still change color we have removed it right yeah so now if you are why what is this okay this one is not saved why it is taking so much of time to save it yeah should be saved now mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, if you try to see the output, here we are getting it as an undefined. So that means the element which we are trying, which we are trying to find it through the here, through here. What I can say through ng on init, we are not able to find it. Why? Because at the time of initialization, we are not able to find it. So there is an option here in such a way that we can give static as true. So then it will be able to available. It will be it will be available in the ng on init only. By default, this will be false. So now, if you try to see the output here, now you will be able to see that element ref. See the element ref you are able to see in the native element. You will be able to have that element, but it is safe to use the static true, static false only. By default, you can leave it. And here, instead of using the ng on init, we can be able to find this one in the ng after view in it. So this is the correct place where you can find the view child elements or the DOM elements. Now, if you try to, if you see the output here. Let's refresh this page. We'll be able to see it. Yeah, if I click on this one, see here we are able to get the element ref, element ref. Now, if you want to change the color for this one, so we are having the change color. I will remove this element thing, and here we can use the at the rate click change color. Okay, and here in the component, instead of using this one, what I can do is this dot other element dot in the native element you will be able to have dot style dot color is equal to brown or something like this i will change it now if i try to change it to brown or anything if you see the output for this one if i refresh this page now you will be able to see here it has been changed to brown color fine it is working fine but we are trying to use it through the native javascript for this reason what we need to do is we need to inject the renderer so injecting the render dependency injection you know so we need to use the constructor and here i can use the private uh, what is that one renderer this should be imported from renderer to so angular core it should be imported now by using this renderer we need to use this one so how we can use this renderer is so here i can use this dot renderer dot set style so this is these are the methods there are some couple of methods available in the renderer set style and we need to get the element so there is nothing but this dot other element dot element native element comma and we need to change it to color and i will change it to green so whatever the color you want to change it you can change so this is the correct and the recommended way to whenever you want to change the dom element so the dom element when you are trying to change it in the direct custom directives or like this we are trying to change using the virtual anything so we need to inject the renderer too and using the renderer we can change this code now dom element now if i try to refresh this page if you click on this change color see it has been changed to green color so like this we need to change it so this is how we'll be using the renderer to in the view child and also like this also we can pass it as a parameter the native element and we can use the we can change the dom elements and all those things the, using the renderer library if you want to check this renderer so you can go create this renderer to uh, sorry you can search in the renderer to and you will be able to see all the methods that are supported in the renderer to so here this is the renderer to class which is available in this one 
so here you will be able to see all the methods Cre create element these are all the things set style set value set property remove style remove child parent node sibling instead of using the native javascript so we will be using this renderer to change the dom element so that's it guys about this one so what i will try to do is i will try to commit these all the code in a new branch video hyphen 13 so i will commit this all the code so view child and renderer 2 sorry renderer 2 i will commit these all the codes here i am committing this all the code and also i am publishing the branch whoever may be having doubts and all those things so they can go to my github repository url so whoever may be having doubts they can go to the particular video branch so here all the branches will be created for the particular video you can go to the particular video branch and you can refer the code the github repository url link will be provided in the description below so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you